Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Um, and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift, you would love to share with other people and just give you a vibe, please go ahead and do so and drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, circumstances are changing for you even when you don't see 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 it coming. Um, trust the process. Trust that all you face is never in vain. And it's true. You know, we go, all of us go through a lot of different things in our lives that is just, it, it feels like it's hard to bear. You know, um, going through different um, phases of our life and struggles and poor circumstances and stuff like that. We don't realize maybe at that moment that um, it can really strengthen you. You know, you, you go through things, you, you know, you, you feel like, you know, life isn't fair. You know, what you have to constantly go through isn't fair. You get over one hump and ten other humps is there that where you have to be able to jump hurdles and you're still trying to catch breath from the last hurdle you don't went through. And, you know, and it's just universe's way is like, keep going, keep going. You know, uh, these things uh, may not seem clear to you, you, may not understand them at the time that you may be facing them. But trust and believe. It'll give you the insight that you needed, you know, to keep, you know, keep going. You know, there's a lot of times that we can face so many different, uh, you know, hard circumstances to where you just want to throw your hands up and quit. You know, um, not wanting to be able to face the next day and deal with the BS that you've been dealing with with the last few days. And, you know, universe knows that. You know, there's a lot of times that we could be going through something and then all of a sudden the room temperature will just change. Or you just, you at that point where you say, I just can't deal with it anymore. You know, why do I got to keep going through these different things? And they always constantly show you, you know, your your blessings are on heading on their way. You know, uh, your prayers are being answered, but they're not being answered in the way that you thought they would. You know, there's different things that you could be placing out into the universe. Love, kindness, compassion, encouragement towards people you know some people you know some people you don't you know a lot of times it's not reciprocated you know and it is it is like the world can be so cruel they'll make you harden you know you don't want to you know be that type of person that just because of individuals not you know seeing your worth seeing your value or not even valuing you you know i'm not allowing that to make you become cold like the rest of the world you know there's a lot of times we have to remind ourselves people aren't perfect you know, there's a lot of people out here that project on others. There's a lot of people that are abusing people in different ways to just empower themselves. And it, it can be it can be very harmful. It can be hurtful. A lot of times it can get very drastic, especially if a person has to deal with it continually. But there's a lot of times, like, even when you are correct, you know, sometimes you got to stay silent. You know, and a lot of times you be, <laughs> be ready to go outside somebody's head and just have to think, you know. Don't don't allow yourself to react to, you know, not react to projection of others, you know, the fear of others, the intimidation of others. Um, God is already dealing with them, you know, especially if you pray for your enemies, you know, when people start acting up, you know, you have to understand God's dealing with them. They, you know, they, that's the reason why they act in the way they act, you know, because you'd be at times like, God, dog, you know. I might pray for such and such and such and such and such, you know, just to get off my back, just to leave me alone. You know, I got to deal with this person on a daily basis. And next thing you know, it just seems like stuff started getting worse and worse and worse. That means God's acting out on it. And they know that. They know the reason why things are happening. They understand the misfortune that are taking place in your life, you know, and you could be trying to move forward. And, you know, there will be d different times I even have to tell myself, you know, um, your blessings are, are really strengthening you. You know, your purpose gives, it may be painful, but it has purpose to it. You know, it allows you to have that power that, um, that you never knew you had. You know, it's, it's there, you know, and you, you feel that every day. You know, there's sometimes you just have to just breathe, like, you know, just take that time out for yourself, you know, uh, and it, it's just the fact is we there are so many of y'all that I talk to and there's so much energy that I feel and you know in this time 
Excuse me, I've been drinking my lemon water. This mess is good as hell. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here drinking it now. I'm like, oh, God, it feels good. But, um, you know, there's times that I've talked to y'all. It'll be different times that I even, you know, be out in the neighborhood or just being out in the stores. And I can feel people's energy that you're really going through. You're battling a lot of wars that a lot of people don't know about, you know. And it is just that you have the courage to go through the next day. Sometimes you may not feel like doing anything. You may not want to get out of bed. You know, you're probably having crying episodes. You know, going through those different things to where, you know, universe and God knows you're tired. You know, and they always tell you, don't ever feel like everything that you're facing isn't going to amount to anything. And a lot of times it's hard to be hearing that. You be ready to flick them off. Like, if you don't leave me alone, <laughs> you know, I'm like, leave me the hell alone. I understand, you know, it's like, yeah, namaste, namaste, uh huh, you know, whatever, you know, but it, it's just like they know. They know, you know, that's why they wiped all our memory out, all our talents, everything that was hidden. You know, they'll bring out a little sprinkle. They be sprinkling your knowledge, sprinkling your power on you. It's like the more you allow yourself to purge, as long as you allow yourself to pause. You know, they know there'll be days that you want to be able to give up. You know, there'll be days that you really say this ain't really worth it. And it really is. It is very worth it. You know, if you, you know, they always say, you know, it's like right when I said that, they were telling, guiding me to say, if you understood the blessings you had coming, you will understand why the enemy fights so hard at you. You know, and I just seen that he was like, so, you know, God was saying, saying that if you understood the blessings you had coming into your life, you will understand the battles that you're facing right now. And a lot of times we go through different things like that because, you know, the devil will mess with people whose hearts are hardened that don't want to heal, you know, because those things, it's like what we face is not easy to face, you know, because they take you through so many different changes and we can get mad at other people like, why don't you just heal? Why don't you, you know, why don't you just heal? Why don't you go do you and stop worrying about what I'm doing, you know, but it, it's just like that's that that's too complex for a lot of people. You have to understand that it's too complex for a lot of people because that means you have to hold yourself accountable. That means you got to be honest. That means you got to apologize. You know, understand the parts that you played in your own suffering while you're trying to make other people suffer. You know, you have to just constantly tell yourself when folks, you know, you know, when folks are even the world just act like that. It's like I'm my RSVP in that. <laughs> you know, it's like misery love company. I'm my RV, RVS, and you ain't gonna send a gift. Hell no. <laughs> no, I'm not. My gift is going to be a blessing for me praying for you because yet I need to pray for you. You know, and you have to be able to do that. But we go through different struggles. It, it doesn't have to just be with people. It could be just the entities that we have within ourselves. We have attachments too. Because a lot of times we can say, I hate that person or I, can, I despise this person. I wish this person was this, this, and this, and that. You know, I don't see how different people be coming at folks. I'm like, you know, you didn't have to go that hard, but I'm, I'll be laughing, but I'm just like, that's not funny. I'm just laughing at what they said. I'm not laughing at who the person they were placing that on, but God, dog, you know, I, I mean, because I'm telling you, I've heard some different things like, yeah, you the part of, you know, something that came out of but that was it. That, that was a mistake. I'm just like, did you wait just for a perfect time to tell somebody that? I'm like, God, dog, you know, but the world can really be cruel, you know, because a lot of times, you know. People will bring a bone just for them to have one carry back. You know, you have to really, really be worried about, you know, really have to be careful and discerning about different things that has taken place into your life. Because, you know, life, life isn't fair all the time. You're not going to always get, you know, have a good day all the time. You're not going to always have a bad day. You know, they always keep telling you, you know, this too shall pass. You know, you're going through different things and it, it, it's calling you back home. That's calling you back home for you to know who you are, recognize your power, recognize your your strength, you know, um, see that you that your your soul is making you resilient for a reason. You know, even though you may not want to do anything, there's days I don't even want to get out of bed, you know, just be looking like, oh, can I wake up from this nightmare already? It make me feel like nightmare on my damn street. You know, it's like, shoot, Freddie, Freddie is everything everybody you know you just try not to feed that power into it because it's like when we fear stuff we don't realize that that masses highs, you know and it's just like why you know i think about the good things i want in life and why aren't they you know materializing and they are they really are because god sees that every, everything that you have gone through in your life god sees that 
how you know he he created something different within you you know because a lot of times we can have happiness and it's really short-lived you know people you know profit off your pain you know i know that dearly you know but then it's just like that became your purpose you know what you have gone through and um uh you you have th different things has taken place just to get your attention in life and a lot of times it may not make sense at that time but when it comes back to that time frame of when you woke you know um you'll start seeing different things that you you didn't know was possible it may seem ordinary to you at that time like eh, it wasn't important it was relevant but then they'll take you back to that time it's like remember this such and such time and you'll be like dang you know and it's just giving you eye openers for a lot of different things you know there's ways that where life can just be cruel you know you see how the economy is right now the government you know all those different things i'll get into that government stuff but you know <laughs> there's different things that's going on you know people going through pandemics uh still struggling financially you know um people trying to find jobs and stuff like that and you trying to make even if you're trying to build your own career off the ground by making your own business you know you're trying to be your own entrepreneur philanthropist whatever and that mess ain't easy but it's just like a lot of times I have to tell myself, you know, when you are so grateful for things, you know, and it's a lot of times universe knows, God knows that at times it can be very hard to be grateful when you got so many different hard circumstances you're dealing with. It's hard for you to say, yeah, thank you. Can you give me some more, please? You know, different stuff like that. And God knows that you're tired. God knows that. And, you know, and he is just like he'll tell you he got something very special for you just because he's seen how you have light worked. You know, he sees that, you know, even though you may be struggling with something, you'll see somebody go through something and you'll uplift them in some kind of way. And that makes you feel better, you know, and that's why a lot of times I used to get mad because it was just like all the stuff I got going on. You want me to sit up here and be loving light and mess. I was like, I'm dark and on hot mess right now. You cannot get that out of me to give me somebody else. I'm not trying. I'll be doing more harm than good people. And I'll tell people real quick, if I ignore you for a good minute, it ain't nothing against you. But it's just the fact is that's a protection against you. <laughs> you know, that's a protection against you because I may not have the positive vibes to give you at that time. Because I'm dealing with my own wars I'm dealing with my own struggles And I tell people I keep it real I don't care if my enemies do hear me say that But I can at least say I'm facing some stuff that y'all want You know And I still pray for you You know Because it, it's just like There's so many people out here That they notice things in you You don't notice in you And you know And I say that a lot Y'all hear me say it a lot If y'all been with me You know There's a lot of times Your haters Your haters know you know, they see something good in you and they want to destroy the hell out of it just because they feel like that should have been them. And it's just like if you really take a look at yourself where you can pay attention to everybody else's life, if you really dig deep within you, because I feel like everybody, everybody can place a mark into this world if they allow themselves to stay focused on themselves. I really do. I really do because I, I, I go through a lot. And a lot of times it's influenced, but... You know, I, I have to be able to pray for my enemies. I have to pray for them because it's just like a lot of times it's not even about being arrogant or conceited or anything like that. It's like you must have something really good where it's just like people that don't like you watch every single thing you do. And, I, you know, I'll I be making jokes like, do you know when I'm going to go past the bowel or something? You know, like, why the heck you say that? Because you watch my ass all the time. You know, I say, am I going to be regular today or is my soul place going to be messed up? You'll know before I do. You know, and be like, dad, well, you know what? I'm serious. I'm serious because I get tired. I'm just like, if you do that, take notes. This is something that you can do for yourself. You know, there's too many people are out here that don't want to support other people. They feel like they're the only ones that can be happy. And I've always been that type of person. I feel like we can all win. If it's not bad, and I put it on, we can all win by growth. We can all win by happiness. We can all win by healing, sharing love, unity. Not by being happy, by sabotaging other people, blocking blessings, manipulating, putting hoodoo, voodoo, you know, centuria type stuff on people. Because you don't want somebody having blessings and you expect God to give you something. No, that's not how God works. If he's doing that, it's because you're around somebody who, who is blessed. You know, and people got to understand that but when you're going through stuff them challenges become very challenging and you already know they be like nah sh Sherlock yeah they come they come very challenging with you but these are the things that it gives you that endurance these are the things that give you that endurance within yourself 
and allow yourself to use that as fuel to say, I'm never going to allow myself to feel like this again. I'm never going to allow people to doubt me. If they doubt me, then I don't need to be in my life. I'll support myself. I'll be my own cheerleader. You know, I'll be my own, you know, uh, therapist, my own preacher, my own best friend. And a lot of times you have to do that. And it'll be just like, you have to understand. They say sometimes you have to understand you, your own best friend. Even the shadow leaves during the light. You know, so you have to be your own best friend. And just being able to share that love. And, you know, I, I had to learn to, you know, when you don't expect anything back in return, you, you don't have to be disappointed. You know, I've been disappointed with a lot of individuals, even though I don't wish nothing bad on them because I know they're they're going through their own battles, you know. And I tell people that way, when you know you're being genuine to somebody and they, it, it can be somebody that you have just met. It could be people that you have known for a long time. And they flip the script on you. You have to remember, nobody's perfect. Everybody's battling the day. You don't know what they're facing at times. You don't know if they're, you know, um, they're really struggling in that time. And a lot of times when you're coming into people's life with pure intentions, you want to see them grow. You want to see them healthy. healthy. You want to see them happy. You know, if they're used to so many people being in their lives just to take, 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 take and give. What's wrong, mama? You know, when you go through different things like that. Girls, you know, hush, I'm not taking you outside, hush. You know, I'm going through all those different things that uh, that they may be facing at that time. You, you have to understand, they may not be used to somebody genuine like you. You know, especially if they've been, anytime they had people in their lives, it's always something that they took, they drained them, you know, they bled them dry. You know, and you can step up into somebody's life and be very genuine. You want to see the best for them. You want to see everything good happen for them because you feel like, shoot, we can we can go too. So, ugh, come here, come here. Sorry, y'all. She's just distracting. She want her attention too. But um, you know, going through all that, you know, they may not be used to that because they they normalize, you know, the the brutal connections you know the codependency connections on different things so it's just like when you when they're used to somebody like that they're gonna think that somebody into their connection is actually being genuine when there's something wrong with them because <laughs> that's not what they're used to so if you're not expecting some something into return you'll never be disappointed with nobody because you you know okay you know, maybe I had to be that. You know, it can hurt because we're living through human experience. It really can hurt, especially if you know you're in, your heart's in the right place for that person. And when that happens, just say that God used you as that blessing at that time. It was fun while it lasted and get the heck on with your life. Girl, if you don't hush and leave me alone. But, you know, going through all that, you know, um, days will become a little lighter, you know. And those different things, it will really teach you where you have to go, you know, in life. You're excelling. And a lot of times that can feel lonely. If you don't, stop. Stop it. So you going through all those different things. And just trust and know, you know, there's going to be people on, on, your, on your level. You know, you had to be that type of person that had to help them when they needed it. And you were that blessing that they needed at that time. So don't allow yourself to be hardened just because that wasn't reciprocated to you. You know, a lot of times we have to understand not everybody has that same mindset as us and everybody don't have that heart as us. Just because you do something, don't ever expect that to come back in return. Because a lot of times, you know, there'll be some people in your life that's going to be there. You know, it's going to really be there. They can know your whole story. They can know your ups and your downs. Will not use that against you. Won't sit up here and threaten you with it. They want to see you soar because they really see that potential into you. So when all those different things take place, you know, you'll understand. You know, a lot of times we don't understand it at that moment. Like, why do I keep allowing myself to do this and that and a third for other people? And, you know, this is what they do. So when we go through those things, understand, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, you were sent as a blessing towards those people and they were sent towards a blessing for you because then you know this is the things you need to look out for. These are the things you know you can pull back on real quick. You know, when you start noticing those signs again. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, and I hope that you're able to, you know, resonate with that. You know, if you're going through something, you know, if you need to take a break, take that break. If you need to meditate, meditate. Stop. Don't stop praying. You know, 
still give generosity, you know, well, be grateful and give, you know, uh, gratitude towards the universe. You know, they're sending so many different signs that, you know, things are healing. It's just in a slow process on doing that. And you're like, look, <laughs> you know, my, my patience is very thin. It runs very short, you know. So, but it's just like, you'll be happy. You'll be happy at the end when you understand that everything was working in your favor in the first place. So don't give up. You know, the, that's the best that's the best thing to make the enemy win is when you allow yourself to walk away from something that it can truly impact people in a, in a, in a very beautiful way. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. Um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Julie Alucas, um, Andrea uh, Kelly and Pine Fruit Thoughts. Welcome to the fam. So good to have you. Um, you know, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And uh, it's all about you know, just spiritual networking, just be able to give you a deeper understanding about it. You know, I tell people never, you know, feel uncomfortable on asking me things about your spiritual path, you know, because a lot of times you can deal with people and make you feel like you're stupid or you're crazy, you know, or something like you need, you know, do we need to get you a, a, a you know, evaluation 5150 or something like that in the psych ward. I don't do that. You know, because there's a lot of things that we go through that people with closed minds and, and still sleeping. I mean, they hard comatose sleep that um, they don't understand what we're going through because we feel things at a lot deeper uh, vibration than they do. And our frequencies are a lot higher. And, you know, we're trying to move through that. So I try to my best to be able to help people out the best way I can, you know, through, you know, through my time. So, you know, I leave my contact information in the description box below and I leave also leave my podcast uh, links as well. To be able to do that so i hope you are able to resonate with this i have i hope you have a beautiful sunday um day i don't know if it's evening night whatever you wherever you're at i hope you have a beautiful day you know whatever you're working for in your manis you know trust and believe if you're going through a lot of struggles right now things are just not going right for you knowing it's about to open doors and it's going to be more than you prepared yourself for um, there's certain things that God's just bringing in your life that you ain't going to be able to grasp the concept on. That's the reason why things is just really crazy with you right now. So allow yourself to keep going and trust and believe it can be here sooner than you expected it to. So allow yourself to keep going, keep moving. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. You'll see me on my next video. Much love. I love y'all so much. Peace.